Dustin Young, Loam Roamer. Today we are going to review the Luftkopf from Vorsprung suspension. Now this is the first suspension upgrade I made years and years ago. Um, I have one on an air spring. I still think these are great upgrades. I'm going to tell you who, why, and what you're going to get out of this thing. So you'll notice I'm gloved up. I have this thing. It's still all greased up. It's stored uh, nicely in a bag and sealed shut normally. I don't want dirt and grime or anything getting on any of this. Um, I'm, I'll probably have to clean it and regrease it after this. And I would suggest if you pull yours apart, you do too. So what makes, what makes a, a loofed cop? What's going on here? What makes this what it is? This, is, this video probably won't take long. These things are pretty simple. This right here, this change at the top, let me, let me bring this around to you. Okay, that black component above the white disc, okay, that's a loofed cop. And what it does is there's a port built in, and that port, I don't know if I can show you all this or not, that port, it's under here, it's gonna be hard to get on the camera. So that's a loop cop, that's what it is. This one says 36, because it's for a Fox 36, okay? This loop cop increases the negative air chamber on a Fox 36. Now, this one is for everything up to the current generation. It's for the previous one. Works exceptionally well. Makes no impact to stiction. You're still gonna get all the stiction from seals and all that stuff, because it's just an added negative air chamber inside of, attached to a factory air spring, okay? No other changes, right? That's it, that's all you're doing is this component is being added and the factory white disc is being taken off for this component. Okay, weight that it adds. I don't know, a couple ounces? I mean, there's nothing going on here. You already had this piece and you add this. I mean, it's a piece of aluminum with an airport, so there's not a lot going on. So I wouldn't, this will be almost the most negligible weight change you'll make for any suspension upgrade you're gonna do. But, what you get is better small bump traction because you get a little bit more of a negative air chamber, meaning that the initial, you have less resistance from the air through the initial part of the stroke. Maybe the first, if you're on 100, and let's say you're on five inches of travel, you're gonna get, you know, say 150 mil travel, you're, you're gonna get the first 30, 40 mil is gonna be better. Maybe up to 50 mil is gonna be better. That part is just going, you're gonna track the ground a little better. You're, the small bump, the chatter, the things that you can feel in your hands when you're going over, all that's gonna get a lot better. So you're gonna have some performance improvements due to the fact that you're gonna get better small bump compliance. They say coil-like feel, really all they mean is that it's a better initial stroke. It does not feel like a coil anywhere else. It feels exactly like an air spring feels. So let's get that out there. The other thing is, it says better mid-stroke support. In my experience, nothing that was really noticeable. Um, slightly better maybe, but nothing that is noticeable over pretty much a factory Fox 36. You still use tokens, you still control ramp up, you still can do all those things. So OEM tokens are still available to you. So you can now maybe run a little less air pressure, token it up, get some better small bump compliance, and sort of manage that initial spring better. Or you're gonna set, so sag is a relative thing. I don't care about sag as much as a lot of people do. I set my fork up to performance. Go learn how to do that, bracket your stuff. Sag should be a starting point, not a, not a fixation. For some reason it's become a fixation. I think it's because it's a simple thing to do. Um, if you're gonna push fast and hard, 20%. If you're gonna jump and be medium stuff, 25%. If you're sort of meandering and playing around and you're just looking for the trail to feel pretty dead and underneath you and you want, you want to smooth it all out, more like 30%, right? So that's, I think that's the theory there. It's, it's how, the, how it makes it feel. It doesn't make it better, it's just how it makes it feel. SAG should be more, I mean, it has a purpose. You want some SAG, SAG's really important to getting the wheel back down, having, having room for it to drop to maintain high traction. But this right here is gonna help with that quite a bit so you can start to play with your air pressures because you now have 
better small bump compliance so you, you have a little softer front end so you can start to work through where you really want your air pressure to be. You might even firm it up some um, and then token it up even if you want greater bottom out because you're hucking uh, and you're, you're jumping a lot of stuff and what you're trying to do is manage all the chatter bumps coming into the jumps, okay? So that's one good thing you can use this for. Okay, so let's talk about really who would use this. It's a fairly inexpensive upgrade, so if you're just looking for a first upgrade, it's budget conscious, which is awesome. Uh, this will get you in, I wanna say they're under $100 to buy, um, and they're probably not much over $100 installed. Great time to do a lower leg service, um, get your oil changed, maybe even throw in some new seals, dust wipers, all that good stuff. Great time to do it, you're, you're in there anyway, you're gonna be changing this out, you can be pulling the lowers off to do it. It's a good time to take care of that. Um, you're not sure that any of the bigger stuff from Vorsprung, you're not sure if you really want to invest that much money yet. You're just trying to get some improvement. You like the way your bike rides overall. You're just trying to improve traction. This is, this is a great starting point. It's budgetarily a great starting point. The other thing, highly reversible. Yank this thing off, go back to the factory system if you just don't like it. It does not, it's not hard to do. It does not hurt the bike in any way. And to change it back is simply pull it off, change this portion back out, put the correct amount of oil in and you're done. You don't service seals, you don't do anything. So you just, it's just oil and that's a low cost change, okay? And then, you know, if, if, you're, if you just don't want weight added to your bike, if you're one of those people, you don't want to add any weight to the bike, it's, you want to keep it as light as possible, it's, it's your trail ripper and you want to keep it down in that lightweight because you do a lot of climbing, this is a great way to get some improved traction without, without the weight penalty. So that's, that's really where this thing shines, right? It's, it gives you some improved suspension characteristics without punishing you by adding weight, especially uh, unsprung weight where you have to manage that. So on the light trail bikes, on the cross country style bikes or down country bikes, this can be a heck of an improvement um, without giving you weight penalty. So you can just go slash away on all the trails all day long. And you know you got some really cool traction characteristics that you didn't have before, okay? If you decide to upgrade to say a Cicus, take this off and go back to the factory air spring. You do not leave this thing on. They're very clear. You're gonna have some very bad characteristics. Um, it's not a good combo. You're, you end up with problems you don't want to have, okay? Um, I did it, I tested it. I just had to know if it was true and uh, it felt like riding mush. It was terrible. So. I just had to know how bad it could be, and it's just, it sucks. There's no other way around it, don't do it. You wanna do this upgrade, it's pretty easy to do. You can do it yourself. You just gotta have something to remove the pin. Uh, take it in and get it done, it'll be pretty inexpensive. If you know how to do a fork service, this will be very easy to do on your own. If you don't, reach out to your local suspension shop. If you're in Northern California, uh, or you're within a, an hour or two of Auburn, California, Mike at Full Flow Suspensions, who I normally use when I don't do stuff myself, and he's, he's really good, he'll get this stuff done. I hope you like this video. I hope you now have a better idea of, of why you would choose the Vorsprung Luftkopf. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, over anything else uh, as an initial suspension test. And I hope this gave you more information that you wanted to know about this cool little suspension improvement. I hope you're having an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you out on the trails.